about 50 years ago, I had an accident. And it was a very bad accident. Many people died. The truck somersaulted into the valley. And I screamed, Jesus! And a hand, an invisible hand, picked me from my shoulders. It carried me literally from the valley at Bolgatanga and placed me on my feet. And I survived. I never understood it. And the Lord reminded me. And he said, son, I have sent my angels from the days of your mother's womb when they performed a DNC and took your twin. I preserved you. And at that accident at Bolgatanga, my angel came again and rescued you from that which could have destroyed you. And I will not leave you until you have performed my heavenly calling and mandate to the letter. <laughs> Say yes. And the Lord began to emphasize something very, very strong to me. A very powerful scripture that we take for granted. 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 10. Who delivered us from so great Underline the death. word deliverance. The God you and I serve is a God of deliverance. He's a God that delivers. Turn to somebody and say, he delivers, he delivers, he delivers. Yes, he does. Yes, he delivers. And look at, look at the ways by which he delivers. Go ahead. Who Deliver delivered us. us from so great a death? From so great a death. Do you know, ladies and gentlemen, hearing the sound of my voice, that you have been delivered from something? Yes. Sitting here, looking pretty, as you are, you've been delivered from something. And if you believe that, put your hands together and give him praise that he's delivered you from something. The only reason why you are still breathing and you are still alive today under the sound of my voice hearing me is because you have been delivered from something. He delivered you from something. That's why you are still sitting here pretty. Put your hands together if you believe that and say something. Open your mouth and say something. Say thank you. Go ahead. Who have delivered us from so great a death uh -huh. and, and doth deliver? So look at it. Number one, he delivers. He delivered and he does deliver. In whom we trust that he will yet deliver us. So understand that he delivers. He delivered past tense. He does deliver present tense. Yet he shall yet deliver future. Are you hearing me? Oh, you didn't hear me. You didn't get it. You know, it took, me, it took me hours to get it. I was just sitting there in my hotel in Munich. And, uh, and, the, and the Holy Spirit just kept on emphasizing and impressing this scripture on my heart over and over and over and over and over again. Then suddenly the light turned on and I got it. He shall yet deliver. He shall yet deliver. He shall yet deliver. And I started thinking about the unrest across the nations. What happened in 90 days in Rwanda? How a group of irresponsible people just got up and thought that they could just talk, create violence and strive and conflict and did not know the consequence of their action and how one million people died and the world stood by indifference and allow so many lives to perish. And I started thinking about Liberia, Celerion, and what's going on in Israel, in Gaza, in the Middle East. The bombing going on from Iran to Israel. And started thinking about the violent speeches in Ghana and across the nations, the unrest, the fears. Then suddenly it came to me, he shall yet deliver. He shall yet deliver. Come on, if you believe he shall yet deliver, put your hands together and say something, somebody. He shall yet deliver. The world is becoming fierce. There is a feeling and a sense of perplexity, powerlessness, and hopelessness. There's an anxiety, a fear, and a worry all across the nations of what could possibly happen to the nations of our world. 
But some trust in chariots and others trust in horses. But we shall remember the name of the Lord our God. If you believe it, put your hands together. Say something. Say something. <laughs> Hallelujah. My job and assignment is to remind you, is to remind you, whoever you are, Whatever you are, irrespective of the color of your skin, your upbringing, your experience in life, my assignment this morning is to remind you that the God you and I serve delivers. He delivers. And he does not just deliver past tense or present. He yet delivers. He shall yet deliver from any other fear that is ahead of us. It does not matter what the contradiction is. It does not matter what the enemy have said. It does not matter what the projections are. It does not matter what the controversy is. Ladies and gentlemen, I came to announce to somebody. I don't know who I came to speak to, but I came to talk to somebody that he shall yet deliver you. He shall yet deliver. If you believe he shall yet deliver, put your hands together. Say something. <laughs> Who delivered us from such a great death? Who does deliver? In whom we believe that he shall yet deliver. That is my message. You got to believe that he will yet deliver. He did not lift you up to bring you down. He didn't teach you to swim for you to drown. He didn't bring you that far to leave you alone. He did not make you to unmake you. The God who delivered, does deliver, shall yet deliver from all your fears, your worries, and anxieties. If you believe it, put your hands together. Say something, say something. Say yes, say amen, say I believe. 